Hi there everybody, Peter of England bringing you an update on Area 52 and the documentation that is required uh, for you to be eventually recognised as a naturalised citizen on whether you are carrying a dual nationality or a single nationality for Area 52 then this documentation is important for you to have because it is a, a statement and a provable fact that you are now no longer exclusively subject to the jurisdictional requirements and the, the uh, compliance with the laws of the so-called sovereign state that you currently exist in on land. Now, it's around about five weeks now since we launched Area 52. Uh, for those of you who haven't visited the website, I suggest you do because I think it's one of the best websites uh, out there on the internet. It has a lot of information, a lot of things that will change the way you view life. Um, so that's area52.life is the web address. Um, that's where you need to go to and it will explain everything to do about this new nation state that has been created for you, uh, which is your new country of choice, if you so choose. And bearing in mind the so choose part comes, we like to thank all those who've gone onto the website and registered. We also like to thank all those people who've become members. And so I'm encouraging now all the people who have gone on to the website and registered and all those who've never heard of it who are going to go on, we need you to actually become a member and in effect that it means to join. We need this because we have to build out our citizenry or the polity, which is one of the requirements from the Montevideo Convention of 1933, to build up the citizenship and the citizenship is adequate now but we need a, a more, more of a, a gravitational statement of numbers to show that we do have a absolute um, statehood standing for all the documentation that we issue to you and on your behalf. So that's a short way of saying or a long-winded way of saying whichever way you look at it that we need you to come on and begin to join because once you've joined you are a member and then the documentation that I'm going to present to you now is part of the citizenship package. Okay so it's www.area52.life is where you need to go have a look at the website and then please email us with any comments that you have in addition. So now without further ado I'm going to go through the the documentation that we've put together for you when you become a citizen. The only thing I'm not displaying uh, today because it would be reasonably cumbersome and it's uh, going to be something that will be done in each country where you are currently residing or classed as a as a citizen or a subject um, those number plates will be produced in country therefore uh, it is important to just to make you know that a fundamental and integral part of what we're doing here is to completely change your identity divorce you from the cabal or the tyrannous uh, should we say genocidal maniacal uh, entities that pass for government that are trying to break you down and lock you down and put you into uh, very, very strange societal boxes now which were unheard of and undreamable of even by the likes of Orwell in, in his, his novel 1984 which I think they have all adopted as a, a blueprint for society not just um, supposedly a, 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 a future science novel. So. Let's now look at the, the documentation we've put together. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to, to show or demonstrate a certificate for you. Uh, this is a certificate of citizenship and naturalization for a global commons high seas area because please go to the website and look at what that entails. This is an area that we've created, Area 52, which is beyond their reach, beyond their land and beyond their control, placing you in a fairly um, uh, unchallengeable position of being a citizen of a, the most newest or the newest state that's been created on, on planet Earth probably ever. That's the certificate. The next thing uh, is that we've created a an ID card or an ID card holder. Um, 
on the back is just a depiction of a metaphorical representation of the what's called the global commons and inside there is a statement and that's for containing your your ID card fairly simple details and on the reverse side just some details about your height and your eye color and a mark for your signature. In addition to that we've also put together um, part of the, the package for vehicle drivers and all those who are engaged in commercial activity or driving in commerce. We have a international license that we've put together for you. Um, this will in, in, in involve not only the, the license but the change of number plating on the vehicle. Um, we have some basic details in here and some categories to show what type of vehicle you are permitted or so-called licensed to drive. We are not really saying that you have no authority, we're saying you basically have absolute authority and that is the representation now for the for licensing. We also offer and will plan to provide you uh, insurance cover with that. The final uh, thing we're looking to deliver to you is a passport or a travel document and for most people who opt for this option uh, the passport will be a diplomatic passport uh, and a diplomatic passport gives you various rights uh, under international conventions and one of the most important one is the recognition under what's called the Montevideo Convention 1933, which is the self-declaratory uh, basis of statehood. It does not depend on the recognition of, of any other state. What we have then here is the inside of it. This is the one prepared for myself. Uh, it will either state that you are a dual national or a single national. If you want to connect or to keep the nationality that you currently ho have, have or citizenship, then that's a, an option. So you can travel as a dual national or as a single national. And then the interior of the passport is just simply something for uh, stamps to be, to be placed. So we've done quite a bit of work in getting this together for you and it's quite a nice document and it's got the gold on the front and it states that it's a diplomatic passport and so we want to give you a newfound status. So all in all I think we've, uh, we're starting to deliver on everything that we said we would deliver. Um, uh, what we need now is obviously more and more people to take note to spread the word that there is an ability for you to step outside these, these oppressive tyrannous jurisdictional parameters that tie you and box you in on a, on a not only a daily basis but on, a, on an hourly basis because what's for sure being created is the the concept by the the Klaus Schwab's of the world and the Bill Gates uh, of a, a panopticon. A panopticon is a, 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 a construct of a uh, of, of a, a jail or a prison whereby all the inmates are supposedly being able to be seen by a guard or a surveillance mechanism operating out of a central, a central um, location within that building. It's almost like a, a, a circle where the control for the surveillance is in the center and all the inmates are being watched 24 hours a day and even when they're not being watched, they assume that they are being watched. And the experiments have shown even when the cameras and the surveillance and the guards have been taken away, even with, to the extent of the doors being left open, the prisoners don't exit the cells because they're convinced that they are still being watched, monitored, and their slightest violation of bylaws or uh, expectations uh, will lead to some type of punishment. So that's the longer term agenda of what's being poured upon you. 
uh, which is being blasted to you or at you 24 hours a day by the media, by social media and by uh, newspapers. And so this is something you have to escape from. So whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Australia or any Commonwealth country, whether you're in the UK, whether you were in South America, we would encourage you to go to area52.life, look at the website and look at everything is, is on there. Um, also, for people who become members, you will be able to access the, uh, the marine, the air traffic and the satellite live um, surveillance um, footage where we can actually show and begin to expose to you the degree of traffic both legal and illegal that is operating and closing a web around this planet and everything that goes down that is funded by the banks that is funded by the investment houses and the 13 bloodlines that control this planet and the 300 prime businesses that operate globally uh, to control it all all interconnected in a web of deceit lies and tragedy you need to start looking at this so that you can turn the tables and begin to divorce yourself from the state. So this is what we're pushing. This is what we're selling. And if you think it's for you, go to the website and become a member. Peter of England saying thank you.